Hey you guys, I was working on one more of those tower boxes and I wanted to try something different. So I have this jig from Rockler. I honestly don't know what this is called because I bought it like six months ago or so and I've never ever used it. So this would be my first time using it. Well, I did one thing with it and it works. So I figured I will share it with you. Well, this uh, jig does, it will allow you to put a spline, but not a regular spline, it will be a dowel. And this dowel is going to go through the corner and not blow through the inside of the box. And then you can make this hole where you can put a dowel of different color and that will just be a spline that will, you know, give strength to the box and also will give it some visual appeal. So I'm going to show you how this works. I was super happy when I, it did work. I hope it works for the rest of the corners. And um, I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested in this jig. I'll find it and I'll place it in there. Like I said, I don't really know what it's called. I'll have to look it up. So let me get you in closer and see what we're doing. All right, so this is what I do, did so far. I marked one inch from the bottom and one inch from the top and I drew some lines all around the box. So this jig, it comes with different inserts. Right now I have this insert in here that will allow me to drill quarter inch holes so I can fit a quarter inch dowel. It does come with different inserts. So let me see if I find them. So it comes with two other inserts, one eighth of an inch and then also three eighths of an inch. So you can make smaller and bigger holes as well. So let's do it and see how it works. So I have my lines marked there and then as you can see on this little window it has a red line so you can line up that center line with the line that you put on your box. So I am going to do that. Try to line it up. Great. And then I will clamp it in place because I don't want this to move while I drill a hole. And my jig moved. There you go. Now it's in the box on the line again. I wish I had six hands sometimes. Maybe I should put one more clamp. Yeah, that should hold that in place pretty good. So. This is what it's looking like right now. That uh, window with the red line, it's overlapping my line that I drew with the pencil. And then I have a drill with a quarter inch bit. So let me put my eye protection on and we'll drill a hole. And cross our fingers, hope to work. Let's uh, take the jig off and ta-da! We put a hole through the box and then let's see if our dowel works. I am going to gently thread it in there. And there you go. Then you will glue your dowel in place and cut off the excess and we should have some beautiful detail on our box. So I'll go ahead and do that in all the corners and when the box is all done I'll make sure I'll insert a photo for you guys to see what it looks like. Now really I wasn't uh, planning on filming today, it was just more like a spontaneous make a short video to show you guys this because I was so happy when it did work and if you're interested in getting this jig like I said I'll put the link in the description below. Um, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.